we're doing it. We're doing the pickums, boys. You yeah. and girls and otherwise, whatever you are. Okay. So we're here. We're doing pickums. Or so help me God, we're gonna get them all right. Okay. Okay. So who's gonna? Right. This one's easy. I'm really sorry, Sharks fans. Pray, pray that the Brazilians don't hate me. But but Sharks are gonna go 0-3. They're gonna go 0-3. It's gonna happen. I'm sorry. Now, <clears throat> who's gonna go 3-0? Gotta pick Heroic, to be honest. I see Heroic as like a gatekeeper team to the top five, right? Heroic probably aren't gonna beat Vitality, Navi, Gambit, Nip. Probably, probably, I mean, Nip they could probably beat. But, you know, they're not going to beat the very best, probably, in series play. But in best of ones, against a bunch of plebs, yeah. Heroic have got this. So that, that, that was pretty easy, right? Straightforward. Easy enough. Okay. <sighs> More energy. Right. Hmm. Who's going through? Okay. Got to pick FaZe to go through. We've got to pick Astralis to go through, right? Okay, so that, I, I think there, I think we're donezo with the easy ones okay i think you have to pick one of these three to go 3-0 like otherwise you're picking oh oh out there pick oh so crazy if you're being sensible you're picking one of these three right <sighs> okay who else is going through i got faith in my boys ents i got i got faith right they're gonna do it right snappy genius in game leader moving the pieces around like a chess grandmaster We've got Hades, you know, banging people out with the orb. Like, got this, right? Ents are going through. Now, now we're getting to the, some of the interesting, right? I'm actually... No. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, the boys. They're going to do it, right? I'm backing them. I'm backing Renegades. They've been smashing up the oceanic region... For like ages and they actually look pretty go away get out my face liggles playing new world god damn it actually one of the few steam friends i have that i actually know in real life i know it's crazy man knowing people like face to face knowing them you know it's nuts out here anyway so i'm gonna put you wait can i can i like put them can i put them over here because they're my like outside pick they're my like th this is kind of in order of how i see like how confident i am right all right Obviously, we've got Sharks. They're going to suck ass. Sorry, Brazil. Love you. We've got Heroic. They're going to kick ass. What And then, you know, these guys are going to do some stuff. Right. I want to pick Mouse. Right? I love me some Rops. Love me some Frozen. You know, big on that team. Not big on Acor. He sucks. Sorry, Acor. But you have sucked since you joined Mouse. I think even you'd admit that. You, you, you've been pretty bad. So I'm not big on Mouse. Big, big worry me, right? Big will beat Heroic one day and they'll lose to some tier three team the next, right? Big or weird, right? Big or variable. So I'm not, I'm not got a huge amount of confidence in Big. Spirit, been kind of in the decline all year, but Degster, he's legit. Degster, yes, yes. Love me some Degster. Bit much baiting going on for, on Spirit for my liking, especially on T side. You know, a li little bit baity here and there, but they're not a bad team. And these, right, some of these Tyloo, Sharks, Pain, like these are the kind of teams Spirit will farm. Hmm. Tyloo, haven't got a clue. Don't really watch Asian CS. Can't justify picking them. Just got to hold my hands up there and say, have not got a huge amount of knowledge on Asian CS. Movie star, Movie star. I always do this. Is it Movie or Movie? Because I heard someone calling it Movi on the cast. It might have been... Um, who was it? Doesn't matter. Movi Movi. Someone who's Spanish out there. Sort me out. Yeah, Movi Movi. I didn't even talk about them. I'm, I'm, I like I like what I've seen out of Movi Star Riders. They strike me as a team that like likes to have close games. Like, good teams they'll have close games against. Bad teams they'll have close games against. They never really smash anyone. But they're never out of a series. You always feel like they're, they're hanging in there. They've got a nice team structure. I like. I'm actually, you know, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it. 
And that's not just because I have Spanish friends, although that does help. Have I given up on big yet? No, there's two spots left. And I haven't given up on big yet. I want to put Copenhagen Flames in. I really do. I really, really like them. All right. Jabby. That man. Kid, really. No offense. You're pretty young. He's got a big future, right? Looks legit. Problem is, do I think they're ready? And against this field, do I see them getting three wins? Depends who they play. Problem is... Who's the opening matchups? Hang on, hang on. Right, we're back this time with the foresight of the first round matchups. Does it change anything I've said so far? I almost don't want to put Sharks 03 anymore because they're playing Mouths first. No, no, no. We'll, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. We'll leave that. No, it doesn't really change anything I've said so far. Okay, so I've got two more. I've got to put Virtus Pro in there. I've got to. Mostly because. Like, they are still good. Like, don't get me wrong. Back half of this year, they've kind of sucked. All right? Their T-sides, my God. I die every time I have to watch a Virtus Pro T-side. It's so slow, and usually it's also bad. But Jame time can also be a great time. You know? He's a wicked sick orper when he's not busy saving. Yakindar, legit actually think he's one of the best players in the world really rate your kindar mm, huge amazing player so aggressive takes so much initiative doesn't require a lot of resources your kinder gets the two thumbs up problem is their t sides have been pretty poor changing a player mm, but they did replace sanji who i know everyone's like oh sanji was the supportive element yes he was he was also a bit of a bot he did not frag very well. And sometimes, again, I keep going on about the T-side. Because the VP T-sides can be fucking atrocious. You just see Sanji run out and die. Not even like he's communicated it. Now, whether that's Sanji's fault or whether that's the rest of VP's fault remains to be seen. But Flit is definitely a firepower upgrade. So I'm going to go out on a limb. Solely because Flit's a firepower upgrade. And they weren't playing around Sanji anyway. So taking out somebody who was not doing a whole lot in the fragging terms and replacing him with someone who's probably going to frag more, even if you just leave them to their own devices, I can see how that works. So I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to stick VP in there. Now, you'd think these final slots, right? Because, you know, I went out on a limb and I put, put the boys, yeah, the boys, put the boys in. Big. The teams I'm, I'm considering, right, are Big, Spirit, and Mouse. And I got like a little, a little like, I got something in the back of my head that's sort of like whispering, Red Tropic or Copenhagen Flags, right? I'm, I'm entirely, no, God sent, no, pain, no, sorry, not, not believing in any of them, right? I'm putting them in the Sharks camp as like, you know, I've got no belief in, in any of those teams, I put Maus and Big in the same camp where I feel like Maus can win on a particular day. Big can win on a particular day. They can also both lose on a particular day, like against virtually anyone. If I was gonna pick, I think on like, if I was gonna go in my heart head, I'd go with Big. If I was gonna go in my heart, I'd probably go with Spirit because I love me some Degster. Mouse, the head, the heart, nothing wants Mouse. So I think Mouse are out. Okay, Mouse are out. So it's big. I think he's got to be big. I think he's got to be big. Am I happy with that? Get five correct. I think I'm going to get five correct, almost certainly. How many, hang on, how many picks have I made? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, and I've only got to get five right. Oh, bloody easy. Yeah, surely. That one's going to be wrong. I think any of these three could maybe be wrong, but I don't expect all three of them to be wrong. And I think these three, well, these three, or well, these two, God. I'm suddenly losing all faith in my pickums right at the last moment. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. hmm. No, nope, that's it. We're backing them. We're backing it. We're backing it. Right, quick summary. Heroic, number five team in the world. I think the gatekeepers to the elite can't see them dropping games to anyone virtually here 
I mean, it is best of one, but FaZe and Astralis should only really be the teams that are giving Heroic any troubles. So I, and I'm going to stick with Heroic. FaZe, a FaZe. They got the skills. Yeah, they'll probably drop some games, but they'll probably make it through. Astralis, same thing. I think they can drop games, but they've got enough to go through. Ents, I'm big on Ents at the moment. I think they've ramped up at the right time. I think they're a team that look like they're hitting peak form. Movistar, Movistar. Movistar. No? Okay. Sorry. Like them just because they're, I think, just so tough to beat. And I think in best of ones, they showed I am full. They've got that like scrappy nature about them. Makes them really hard to beat in best of ones. Versus Pro. Don't actually have a whole lot of faith in them, but I do have faith in Yakinda and to a lesser extent, Jane. Big. Honestly, at this point, I was just picking out of the lesser of the evils. And I just don't have a lot of faith in Maus right now. Maus could legit turn up and just smack everyone and go 3-0. Like, I'm not, it's, I'm not writing that off. And then Renegades. Just because, yeah, the boys. And also, I think Renegades are going to come in with a lot of confidence. And a lot to prove. And I think that combination, the fact that they smash up their region. Like, just beat everyone. And the fact that they come here thinking we've got something to prove internationally. And they had a couple of, you know, international appearances earlier in the year. Obviously, we remember them beating OG in the play-in for... Was it Cologne or Katowice? They beat OG in some play-in stage. So I like that. Bam. Lock them in. And then why am I putting Sharks? Just because Sharks are the lowest... Are they the lowest ranked team? They are, right? I can't click on this because it's going to ruin my recording again. Forget about it. I'm not going to touch it. Um, I'm pretty sure Sharks are the lowest ranked team turning up. It's either them or Pain. Those, one of those two. I'm pretty sure God sent a higher rank to them both. They play in a less competitive region. I've put all European teams to progress except for Renegades. I think that probably will be the case. I think just the European teams are going to be stronger. We haven't had much cross-regional play in the last couple of years, not as much as we have obviously previously. And I think that has kind of seen NA slip behind, obviously, except for Liquid who get to play internationally all the time. I think that just means like, I think NA as a region is gonna come in, unless like teams come in and use that surprise factor, which they could definitely do. Like obviously a lot of these European teams play each other all the damn time. That's my pickums. All of them are gonna be right. If you wanna get all nine correct and look like a legend, this is your tutorial.